Hello everybody, my name is Dubus Light and welcome back to my settlement showcase series and this time around we're at Starlight Drive-In as one of my convoys whatever they're here uh, <laughs> not convoy I don't know what to call them yes, you can hey, follow me now come on you won't hear me complain you can follow me now, Longfellow, because you're not in the thumbnail uh, so yeah, you start by driving. Um, yeah, let's work from back to front. So, there is a summit spawn, or an enemy spawn point, um, over in this direction. That's why I've got turrets all set up over here. And then there is another one. Probably somewhere beyond these fences, or... No, no, no. There's... Maybe there's one down here. Well, I think so, because before... I started this video, there was some sort of attack. And I don't know... If it was raiders or automatrons. I can't see, because I have the HUD turned off. Uh, <laughs> even though those robots have been there for a little while. Um... There's nothing I can do about it. So, here we are. I left the Nuka-Cola machine. I didn't do much of anything to the... to the building itself, besides I just cleaned it up a little bit. Um, ideally, I would have had a... food vendor in here. But... that wouldn't work. <laughs> Come on. Let's open the door. There we go. I got my population settlement terminal up here and the radio beacon. So it's out of the way of everything. Uh, nothing up here. <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of left it the way it is. Alright, here we go. Down to the nitty gritty. So I put down the 40 water. I for some reason thought that was Mama Murphy for a second. So I put down the water, the 40 water thing pump here, um, as long as there's already water. So that's one thing that you can expect from each of my settlements, is if there's already existing water like here, Kingsport, and, um, I was just saying Coastal Kaj, but that's not right. Uh, what's, uh, what, I can't think of it off the top of my head, the settlement that's over by Covenant. Um, Tapping the Boathouse. So there's water pumps there, but then there's other ones like uh, like Croup Manor um, and even like Sanctuary, no not Sanctuary, at Red Rocket there was like land water pumps, so and the fog's starting to roll in. Fantastic. Um, so we got the farm over here next to this woman's skeleton, there's a, our farm. Um, I did replace the lights that were already pre-existing. I replaced and added some lights, so you'll see that better off at night. And I saw this... I don't know if I saw this in a YouTube video or in a Reddit post. Um, somebody used the buses and stuff and the trailers um, as settlers homes and I really love that idea because it's like duh wow but otherwise like if there was already the other cars like if they add that in a creation club or something like that'd be kind of cool if they added well no you can't get in those cars never mind forget what I just said so in each of the buses there's four beds and I knew in a previous build that the buses would work but I wasn't too sure on the trailers and surprisingly it does work every so often or at least when I first build this there was a settler that was stuck I'm even surprised that your character themselves can fit in here um that the first time I did this settlement or when I first built it the uh settlers would be halfway in between the trailer so like the bottom half would be on the ground and yeah <laughs> But yeah, surprisingly, that all works. Um, and then the third line for a spawn point, it's somewhere up along that ridge close to Drumlin Diner. 
And here we go to the movie screen, and again, it's foggy, and um, we got some lounging area. I just put that down recently, and as well as added all these lights. So here's the marketplace. I think in another build, I was doing, like, putting a border around the water source, and then... I don't know, kind of do like a Diamond City thing around it, but I wasn't all that pleased with it. But then now I did this. And I'm really, really glad how these roof tiles worked. Because you get the sun rays to peek through the holes, which is awesome. I was really glad to see how this worked. I put... I don't even remember what I did. I think I put scaffolding up and I was able to lay the roof pieces on top, and I was just really happy I can get them as close as I could to the movie screen. Whoa. I felt... Whoa. <laughs> um, and just, like, having that work, I, I was ecstatic um, that it worked. But yeah, here we go with the general armor, weapons, and clothing. And then... We'll get, we'll get to the screen itself. Then here's the doctor's office, so we've got... For some reason I thought the barber was going to be there. Nope, that's where she was. Um, so we got the phoropter and the clinic, the doctor. Here's the barber. <sighs> All the way out here in the darkness. I would like to do something in here, but I don't know how likely it is that settlers will come in here besides her. So, I don't. Um... Yeah, so I guess all that's left is just up top. Whoa, that's kind of creepy. What are you doing there, son? That's kind of creepy. Uh, <laughs> with all the fog and everything. So I've done this in a previous build. I kind of tried to make it like a lounge area. Um, so they can ideally get a nice view when it's not foggy. Um, so I got the bar up here. I think before I've had more s more seating, but that might have been without the soda fountain up here. Um, is this even powered? Yeah, it is. Okay. She's just not doing anything. Um, oh, yeah, duh, it is. So, yeah. It's supposed to be a hangout kind of area. I've got the one lounge chair. I left that there. I added this one. I would have liked to have added a couch, but there's no room up here. I think frequently they'll come up here and hang out, excuse me, at night after their jobs are all done for the day. So now, yes, all we need to do is show off what it looks like at night. All right, here we are. It is now dark here at Starlight Drive-In. Um, the lighting, it's all right for the cafe part of the drive-in since I don't use it. Um, whoa. Sorry. I just happened to notice. I think that's coming out of Corvega. Um, yeah. I think yeah, there should be some more lighting. I know at some point I was running out of copper, so I went on a buying spree and went to like every settlement that had a junk store and I bought all the uh, copper that was available. But yeah, so I put all the lights that were already existing and are added more. So they circle, well they have circle, around the uh, workshop station, all the way around the marketplace and the movie screen, and back to the other, back to the turrets. And under here it's really well lit, as you can see. Now let's get a better view from up top, and they're all chilling here. Yep, this is what happens. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to go up there because uh, this is not going to happen. So yeah, that is my uh, Starlight Drive-In settlement. I probably should put more lights around, but I don't know if I really will. I'm kind of considering this to be a done deal uh, settlement. So, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and you want to stay in tune with any future content, including more settlement builds, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.